Sarah Lucid, which has been planning on this for several months, finally has had an important milestone achieved at its plant in Arizona. The company has begun production of the Lucid Air. As you take a look at shares of Lucid, obviously under pressure with a lot of the automakers and really the rest of the market today. But the important news here is that it has begun production in Arizona. Deliveries of the Lucid Air, by the way, they start late next month. Lucid Air reservations are now topping 13,000. So they now have more than 13,000 reservations for this luxury electric vehicle. Lucid planning SUV production, what they're calling production of the Gravity, which will be an electric SUV. That will begin in 2023 as they continue to expand their plant out in Arizona. Speaking of the plant, let's bring in Peter Rawlinson, CEO of Lucid, who joins us uh, from the facility. A big week for you, Peter. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Uh, I'm curious from your perspective, as you hit this milestone and as you map out what's next for Lucid, how confident are you that you'll be able to continue to grow the reservations on the air and then start to get that order book going on the gravity? Extremely confident because we've accrued over 13,000 reservations to date. And it's only today that key uh, customers and reservation holders have had the first opportunity to actually drive these cars and they love them. Uh, these uh, reservations will explode when people realize just how awesome this car is. Peter, how often, or, or how quickly I should say, will you be able to ramp up your production uh, of the Lucid Air? In other words, a year from now, what do you expect your monthly production rate to be? Well, next year we're on schedule for producing 20,000 units, and we want to expand that to 50,000 in, in 2023. But right now, our emphasis is upon quality, delivering an awesome car, a car that our customers will really love, and delivering a luxury customer experience. So that takes precedence upon rushing the ramp up of, uh, of, of production in the immediate future. But clearly next year, we're gonna ramp things up uh, on an S-curve of production. You clearly have the demand, at least early on, 13,000 reservations. But look, they're playing in a space that already is rare air when you're talking about vehicles over $70,000. And there are a number of luxury electric vehicles, whether Tesla or Porsche, which are already out there, or you look at the new Cadillac Lyric that's coming out. You have other luxury automakers that are planning to roll out uh, EVs in the next couple of years. Is there enough demand in that luxury space above 70 grand to support all of these electric vehicles? Absolutely. There isn't a, a market for electric vehicles as such. That's a fantasy. The market is for vehicles. And that is huge. There's only about 2.5% penetration into that market through EVs. And you know what? I welcome the competition. Isn't it great that Porsche Taycan is there? Isn't it great that the Mercedes EQS is being launched in the US imminently? Then our product can compete and be compared with the very best. I thrive on that competition. Slightly different question, which is, uh, I'm sure you've seen the extraordinary goings on in, in the UK with these fuel sh shortages and massive queues to get to, to gas stations. I, I just wondered what your take was on that, and, and if it's actually something that will boost demand for EVs in, in the short or long term. Well, there doesn't seem to be a shortage of electricity there, does there? So, so you think it does boost demand, or, or you just don't really have a take on it? Okay. It, uh, Peter, in terms of uh, in terms of the demand uh, you're likely to see in due course, is it predominantly in the U.S.? I'm not sure Peter can hear us. Uh, Phil, thank you so much for bringing that that to us. Uh, much appreciated. I think we lost connection uh, towards yeah. the end. Oh, oh, that, that, oh, my, my question was just so bad. He decided to, to, to <laughs> I think we lost connection. I think we lost but, connection. Uh, I, I enjoyed it whilst it lasted. So thank you, Phil, <laughs> for bringing it. And thanks to Peter. <laughs> Up next on the show, Charles.